Welcome to Butterflies of Wisdom, everyone. I am so lucky and so incredibly honored that I have Andy with me. Andy is a college professor. That's why we're doing this interview so early because, as you know, teachers need to teach. And as you know, if teachers don't show up, they don't get paid. So without Thank you for having me. I'm very happy to be here. I am very happy to have you too. So please explain to my audience what you do more in the nutshell. Sure. I'm a professor of in a business school at Brandeis University International Business School and also in the psychology department. And I am the author of the new book, Reach, which is about stepping outside your comfort zone. So please explain to my audience why you wrote the book. I wrote the book because... I find that stepping outside your comfort zone is such an important skill uh, for so many people at so many different stages and phases of their lives. It is important even um, in situations like, you know, making small talk or networking or delivering bad news or being assertive or standing up for yourself. The idea is that in order to grow and learn and develop in work and in life, oftentimes you do need to step outside your comfort zone. So that's why I wrote the book. Um, and I myself have to tell you that I have never been great at stepping outside my comfort zone. So that also inspired me to try to understand the challenges that I face in my life. Well, that's a wonderful thing. And, Andy, what is your favorite book? It doesn't have to be business-related. It doesn't have to be teaching-related. I know we read a lot of teacher-esque books. But what is your favorite book? Well, my favorite book, I think, is probably um, uh, a book called well, I have a few. One is called Difficult Conversations. I love that book. It's a book about it's, – it's, it's not an academic book. It's sort of a business book, um, but it's about how to have um, – conversations that are difficult with people, uh, how to understand the challenges of doing them, and then how to do them more successfully. And this book was an inspiration, I think, for me to write my my own uh, book, Reach. Um, and so I think this would be one of my favorite books for sure, because if you come into my office at work, where I am right now, and you look at my copy of this book, it almost looks like I took a bite out of it. That's how how kind of <laughs> how used it is. God. Oh, God. Loved, used, and abused the book. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, loved, used, and abused. Not Andy's students, by any means. If we did that, we would get in trouble. But the book is loved, used, and abused. So, Andy... What is your favorite podcast that you could recommend to all my listeners if you had time to listen to them? Podcast? Um, I listen to lots of podcasts. Uh, uh, I, I love podcasts. And you know, I listen to lots of business podcasts, lots of self-help podcasts. But I have to tell you, my current favorite podcast is a podcast called Ear Hustle, which is a – maybe you've heard of it. It's a podcast um, produced by Radiotopia, and the podcast is about life in prison. It's San Quentin Prison in California, and it's co-produced by, I think, NPR. If not NPR, it's maybe Radiotopia, but produced by people outside the prison, but also in collaboration with people inside the prison. So prisoners themselves are um, hosting the podcast and featured on the podcast, and it's about life in prison. And I absolutely find it fascinating. And I, I have listened to every single episode, and I, I, I suggest it to everyone I meet. <laughs> 
Well, that sounds amazing. Eel Hustle, and I am assuming that you can find it in iTunes and Stitcher, and I'm assuming that you can find your the book that you mentioned, Difficult Conversations, on Amazon, and I am assuming that you can find your book on Amazon too. Of course, yep. My book is my book reaches every in everywhere, everywhere books are sold. <laughs> of course. Now, did you traditionally publish that book or um, self-publish? Uh, I published that book with Penguin Random House, so with a with a big publisher. Uh-huh. Traditionally yep. published. Yep. Yep. You will not. And as I said, as I keep telling my fans, the day a traditional publisher knocks on my door, I will take it. As of today, I'm going back to school for the next two years to receive my associate's degree in journalism, believe it or not. So I am leaving the education field to pursue a degree in freelance writing. That's great. That's great. Yeah, it's. Uh, I love as, writing. As you know, we get a lot more money off of a book than we do teaching. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Although I have to tell you that we don't. For um, very few cases, I think the people who are authors make a lot of money from books. We, as authors, we make very little money typically from books. Um, well. In, it's it, for me the reason I write the book is to have an impact. I, I want to actually influence people's lives, their work, and so that's. I find that books are a great way to do that. So it's not as much about yes. the money for me; it's more the impact. It's more the impact. I love it. And so, if you had to be educated by anyone, inside or outside your film, who would it be and why? Be educated by. Yeah. Well, my advisor, uh, Richard Hackman, uh, he was one of the best psychologists, organizational psychologists I've ever read and heard of, and I felt honored to be educated by him uh, for my Ph.D. He died a few years ago, very early, unfortunately, and tragically, um, but he was my mentor. He was my advisor, and he is the person uh, who I would recommend reading uh, his work. Um, He's an expert on psychology and organizational behavior, Richard Hackman, and I felt privileged to have worked with him. 